let's take a look at for one years of Columbia, Fools or Shins, starring Matthew Perry, and Soma Hayek as Alex and Isabel, who both met in Las Vegas, but then at their brief talk, they made things out, which, but then three months later, after they were, they missed each other, I guess, uh, Isabel returns to Alex's home, and she tells him that she's pregnant, and then Alex and Isabel have go to Isabel's family, and they have a good talk and good dinner with their all of them, especially when Alex was holding the baby. And then later they become a couple together until Alex was doing the New York thing. To go to New York alongside Isabel, but Isabel refuses, and they both separated throughout the entire film until the rain happens where Isabel deserved the baby and they live together again. Just like every rom com trope. But I really enjoyed this film because <clears throat> one is I thought uh Matthew and Selma have good chemistry together. They make for a decent couple. Not as good much as Matthew and Courtney and friends, but they're good together to say the least. Though though Alex can kinda of be kind of a Michael Bobby when he was telling about becoming a New York citizen and when and the anger and stupid stuff the state that he feels during halfway through before Alex going to to Isabel again at the street. And the use of music, where it's Mexican or like American music, is pretty clever, especially during the the car one, where they where Matthew tries to chase Isabel at the car, or the jailhouse rock song, or it ends at the wedding. Spoilers, with only fools are shown by Elvis Presley, which is a clever way to end the movie, and it has some very funny moments, like when Matt, when Alex was. Going to his house, a chihuahua comes in out of nowhere as his pet, and then he sees a, a still of J Jesus, and he goes, JC! Or John Bennett's Perry uh, plays his Alex father, and the mother, they have some good funny moments a little bit. And yeah, so this movie does does have some funny moments, especially the one scene where Jeff talks about to Alex to about how is him and Isabel got married and they're having a baby. It got me a cute laugh out of me, and also the one where his Alex car gets destroyed by one giant cube. It's very hilarious. That came out of nowhere. So, I really like the ending where they live together again. And so, yeah, I really enjoy Fool's Rush as a good romantic.